Gregory Anthony Beckford, but in the English language we don't use our middle names that much, so um, it's just Greg um, Beckford. I was born in Jamaica in the best decade, which is the, um, the 70s. Um, I had the opportunity to be alive when Bob right. Martin was alive. Okay. So, um, That, that's good. Um, I migrated to Canada oof, a long time ago, back in the 90s. And the reason for that was job opportunities, education wasn't there um, in, in Jamaica. So, yes, and now I'm here in Spain. Lovely Spain. Oh my god, I, I can't believe how lovely it is. I'm here with my wife and my twin boys. Well, they're, they're not identical, they're more fraternal twins. So, yes, uh, that's it about me for now. So, uh, any questions about Jamaica? Anything. I'm very open minded. I don't care what the question is, I will never be um, offended. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, I have a question. Okay, perfect. Thank you for coming. All right, thank you. Thank you. And uh, actually, you have been talking about three different countries, Jamaica, mm -hmm. Canada, mm -hmm. and Spain, where you are right now. Yeah. It's like, uh, do you see like a lot of difference, differences between all of them? Um, okay. That's a great question. We're not, we're not talking about the weather, okay? No, weather, okay. All right, so let's, mentality is all right, so let's put weather aside. <laughs> Um, I would say Jamaica and Spain, they're like um, cousins, but they speak different languages. In terms of how laid back everyone is here. I'm not sure if it's just in the south, maybe the north is different, but here in uh, Malaga, oh my god, it, it reminds me of being home in uh, Jamaica. Um, in terms of the food, Spain has a lot of Variety. Jamaica has a lot of variety as well. Jamaica has its own music, which is reggae, and you guys have your own music, which I, I wouldn't say it's music, I guess the dance, flamenco. I really love flamenco, and the reason for that, it's different. And different in a sense, it has a nice rhythm with the, I, I really love that. I have a good ear for that. So yes, I'll say it. Jamaica and and um, Spain, yes, but Canada, totally, uh, not totally different, but in the sense that there are so many different people in Canada that make up the country. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that you'll find Little Italy, the culture is still alive. Little Spain, the culture is still alive. Little um, Ghana, the culture is still alive. So you can, I, I grew up in uh, Toronto, so you could go like, say five kilometers down the road, and you would be like, so say you start in Jamaica town, you'll end up in Little Italy, you'll end up in Little Russia, you'll, you end up everywhere, you know what I mean? And just like Fuente Carola, there are so many different languages you can hear that in the street. That's I guess that's one thing Canada and Fuente Rola has in common. So many uh, different uh, languages. Now we have no jerk chicken. Ah, <laughs> jerk chicken is amazing. What's yeah, jerk, jerk chicken? Jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Mm. Can you also, write it down? How, yeah. Oh, how do you spell it? So jerk is on um, J E R K. Oh. And then that hyphen. Chicken. Okay. Yeah, it's What's that? it's so Jamaican. So yeah. It's Jamaican. Yeah, it is. It is Jamaican. So it's just um, it's a sauce that's made of um, molasses. I can name all the different herbs. Uh, a little bit of rum. We have our own white rum uh, in Jamaica. <laughs> it, it's good, but a little bit dangerous. <laughs> so, they, um, so they mix it together. And they get a, there are more stuff in it, but they mix it together and you get this fiery taste. 
but so <laughs> I can I can't even find the word for it. So it's so <laughs> delicious. It's it's just amazing. It just opens up all of your senses. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, but the the jerk chicken that you're now um, I should say promoting is not the same, but it's okay. It's still a reminder that hey, there's a little bite to it. Yeah, that's what jerk chicken. <laughs> it's something to do, you know, in every, like he said, every Jamaican <coughs> neighborhood in the, in the United States and Canada mm -hmm. is going to those places and taste the jerk chicken. Yeah. So, it's, 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 it's so a, it's a must in Jamaica. It, it is a must, it's a must. <laughs> have, have, any, have anyone ever been to Jamaica? Mm -hmm. You went? Know, the Caribbean? Ocho Rios. Ocho Rios. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was with the cruise, but actually it was just one day. One day. But I won't come back, really. Ah, that's okay. It was so disappointing. I mean, not, not to be there. I mean, like, just to be just one day. Mm -hmm. Because there were too many things to do. Mm -hmm. We stayed one day, we find a local mm -hmm. uh, person and say, okay, we will follow you. Yeah. Whatever you will go, we will go. Yeah. Oh, so, it was great. Yeah, it was it, it, yeah. yeah, Jamaica is crazy like that, if you, if, if you don't mind me saying, using the word crazy, but it's... It's crazy like yeah. that. It's, it's an amazing country that once you've experienced it, you, you, you want to go back. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion. What, yeah. What we'll take my word for it. What we felt there is like uh, even if we went to a, a lot of Caribbean uh, islands, mm -hmm. that some of them, you know, they're almost American. Yes. Like Virgin Islands, yes. so this kind of yeah. island that you think you are in the Caribbean, but actually you are Caribbean. in the Caribbean. 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 Uh, well, it, uh, it depends, it depends uh, on, on who is speaking. Okay. Uh, but both, okay. both works. Both what do works. you say? Uh, I said Caribbean. 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 We felt that like Jamaica was different, really. Like, yeah. uh, it is people like just smiling, happy. Yeah. Something that you feel it's difficult to explain. You know, it's yeah. the same like here in the south. Like it's the southern mentality. So. Yeah, yeah. And what I like, as you said, about um, smiling is I remember the first time when I told my friends that I'll be moving to Spain, and people said, "Hey, they're not like um, Jamaicans. They're they're a little bit. Um, what word can I use? Like they have a little bit of xenophobia in them." Right, and I've, I've traveled the world, and I I know the first thing is, don't judge until you get there. Got off the plane, and I'm speaking to a custom officer from Spain. All he's doing is just smiling and relaxing, and I'm saying, you know, like don't back on. I'm back on. He's just smiling, chilling. Like he knows he's at work, but he's just relaxing. You know, so I I like that. I know it's not very professional, but it's, I like that. You know, because work is work, but you have to live your life. You know, so yeah. Why did you choose Spain? Why did I choose Spain? Um, okay, there are um, two things. Um, the first thing is my wife is um, Spanish, but it's actually it's not the first thing. It's the second thing. Um, my, my, wife, my wife is um, Spanish, and the first thing is um, I always wanted to live in a Spanish-speaking country because um, Spanish is my favorite. I, like, I really love the language, and I love the, um, I know this is funny, but I love the, um, I like when things are a little bit different. So I'm, used, I'm so used to the um, Latin American Spanish, and the first time I heard the in Spanish, I'm like, why are they uh, speaking like that? And, and I'm like, okay, I was so curious, so I started like investigating, and then I found out that the C and the Z is like, you know, you gotta pronounce it that way. And there are stories like um, Carlos um, Quinto, um, sorry, Carlos uh, Fifth, the Fifth, um, said that, well, not that he said, but people used to say that he had a stutter, but I know he doesn't. It's just rumors saying that he stuttered, and that's why the Spanish people uh, <laughs> speak like that. But it's not, no, it's just it's stories, yeah. just, yeah. just um, urban legends. Yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah, um, I always wanted to live in a Spanish-speaking country, and 
Spain as what I'm looking for in terms of my dreams is that free education. I couldn't believe it when I researched and found that Spain, a modern country, a first world country, is still offering something like that because in the States, in Canada, and even in my home, Jamaica, we don't offer free education. And it's nice to know that the government, I know there are stories that people don't like the government, but it's nice to know <laughs> that the government cares about education. So that's one of the reasons. So what was first, the wife or Spain? Ah, Spain. <laughs> Spain, <laughs> and the wife. Yeah, and then my, uh, my wife. You find your wife in Spain? No, I met my wife um, the year you guys won uh, the World Cup, um, 2010. She came to um, Toronto um, to um, learn English. And I was, part, I was part of that university crowd. And I saw this little short girl. I just so tiny. And yeah, I liked her. I, I, I think she was, I, nothing. I know she, yeah, she's so cute, you know, she was so cute. I'm like, hey, I gotta know this girl. And I came over with my broken Spanish. And uh, I remember saying, um, um, me, me gusto. And she's saying, you like me, but you don't know me. And I said, ah, she said, you must say me gusta. And I'm like, ah, okay, thank you. And that's how our relationship started. Yeah. Yeah. Where is she from? Uh, she was born in uh, Malaga, but she grew up in uh, Granada. Uh -huh. She left like, when she was three years old. So she's more, what's the word? Gra Gra no, no, the way that you say it. Yeah, yeah. She's more like that. Yeah. When you, when you the English way, I'm sorry, but I like the Spanish sound, you know, it sounds it sounds nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny when you say that way in Jamaica, it's like where is she from? She's from Grenada. Uh, Grenada. Is it from Caribbean? Yeah, Grenada. 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 Yeah, Grenada, yeah. yeah. What about your idea about the Spain war in Canada and now? Um, it's, it's more than what I've expected in a very positive way. In a sense that um, I thought the education was just in the university. I didn't realize it was everywhere. So an institution like EOI, for me it was like out of this world because here you have students who who would like to learn a language um, that's so affordable that if they don't learn, it's just that they don't want to learn. And in all, like in Canada, like to learn, say Spanish for like say say six weeks, you're looking at um, almost say three four hundred dollars for the six weeks. You know, so in comparison, Spain is awesome. And not just not just education. I'm I'm big on education, but in terms of how people treat me, um, in terms of how um, that's how easy it is. The only thing I guess that got to me that I didn't like when I, when we were bought, buying our home, we had to pay the I guess the city tax, and I didn't like that because I'm I'm not used to that. But you know, each country has its own little thing, so when in Rome, as they say, do what the Romans do, right? So that was the only thing I didn't like. But apart from that, it's been a big, big plus for me. Yeah. And can you tell us a little about everyday life in Jamaica? What's the day like? Um, the day, well, the day is, um, let's put it like, I'm just going to use it, this word, party. Um, and when I say party, it's not like, oh, drinking and all of that. You wake up in the morning and you say, hey, thank God I'm alive. Whether you're rich, whether you're poor, everyone says that. So you, you get up, you see people um, like, say, about 6 o'clock, running around, walking around, and being loud at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then around 8 o'clock, everyone is heading out to work. And at work, work is like um, 
going to the playground where, you know, yes, you gotta be on the computer, yes, you gotta like speak to your boss, speak to your, um, like your co-workers, but it's just fun, pure fun. When, when, when I was there, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is like now, but it was just pure uh, fun. And then say like 4.30, that's when we're wrapping up with work, and then people go back home and they're, um, they're on their veranda, they're on, their, uh, on the sidewalk, just chilling with a beer in their hand, um, sometimes uh, some rum, some jerk chicken, ackee and salt fish, food cooking, just just living the life, you know, living like my thing, like one of the quotes I like in Spanish from Ricky Martin, I love living la vida, you know, it's, it's, that's what it is, you know, yeah, we, let's put it this way, there, there are three million people in Jamaica from the last time I checked, which was probably, uh, say five, six years ago, I'm not sure what it is today. Um, Ninety percent probably are poor, and and um, ten percent, uh, they're no five percent, they're well off, and about another five percent, they're super rich. And even though there's a big difference, everyone there's they're on that on the same rhythm of life. Not the same rhythm of money, but you're on the same rhythm where you want to live, right? The rich want to live, but not just live to spend and show off. But they want to have nice things, but they're living um, <coughs> this a life where it's not just about money, but it's a, it's it's about nature. It's about <laughs> say nature. Um, Anytime I talk, anytime I use the word nature, I think, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, I think um, marijuana because it's so, it's so, um, it's so, it's a Jamaican thing, but marijuana, a lot of people don't realize that marijuana is only probably smoked by maybe, I'm going to say, I think I'm, I may be correct, maybe 15% of the population. How much? 15 or 15? 15. 15. 15. 15. Yeah, one five. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. That's, that's not as high as. No, <laughs> it, 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 is, it is not. But what marijuana is, it's the way of life. It's not just um, smoking. I remember when I was sick, of, uh, probably about maybe eight, and my grandma, because I was just vomiting, ah, go get the marijuana. So they boil it, and I just, I, I drank it, and Within a day, I was better. So marijuana is not just um, smoking. I know I, <laughs> I came off topic. <laughs> it's just the word nature. When I think of nature, it just reminds me of that. But what was the question again? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No everyday life. Yeah. yeah that's pretty much. It's that's it. It's mm -hmm. it's, it's living. Not living to work, but my mom said saying that it's changing now, and the reason why it's changing the American influence it's it's pretty big. They control the media pretty much, and I'm not going to say it, 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 it's cool. What they sometimes show it's pretty awesome, but what they show sometimes is pretty negative because especially with a poor country, seeing all these oh America has this 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 this. You want it, right? You want it. You want to be a part of it. So Jamaica now is changing in the sense that they're just kind of working, working, working. That's what my mom said. But pretty much the friends that I still have there and people that I'm getting to know each time that I go back, they're still living la vida loca. How often do you go there? Okay, um, because I just came. I moved to Spain here in 2016. Um, the last time I went to was yeah 2016, but I haven't gone back in 20 since 2016. So it's been two years. But every year I normally go like three, four times, you know, because it's home. And I, even though I have my, um, I, yeah, technically I'm a Canadian as well, but 
I'm Jamaican, you know what I mean? And because of my Canadian passport, I, I can travel and see the world. So I'm, I appreciate that, but my first thing is... That's what's not a lot of It's like, a, like, you feel like a half and half or more Jamaican than Canadian? Yeah, and this is the great thing. Or Spanish, maybe, I don't know. Spanish, <laughs> After a few um, months here. That's a, that's a good question because um, I think um, Canada is, in my opinion, is the number one country in the world, and I have many reasons for that. But the first thing is, Canadians uh, or the Canadian government allow you to be who you are. So mm -hmm. if you practice Buddhism, if you're a Catholic, whatever you are, if you're a Rasta, you can be whoever you want. So people will say, a lot of people will say this, Europeans um, or Asians living in Canada, that there's no such thing as a as Canadian because it does the country doesn't allow you to be Canadian. It allows you to be yourself. To me, it's a, a good thing because um, Canada is just like it's. I think it's a good example of what a country should be, where like you you throw in a little bit of European, you throw in a little bit of Asian, you throw in a little bit of South American. And all that spice, just like the jerk chicken, it, 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 it's it's amazing. It, 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 it's amazing. We have the melting pot and the jerk chicken. Yeah. We have a new expression. Yeah, the melting pot. Yeah, you can say uh, melting pot. That's the jerk chicken. That's a, yeah, you, I like that word. I haven't used it in a while. Melting pot. So American. But it's like the United States, actually. But you have no problem there. Like no. We, you don't call the other countries like shit countries or this mm -hmm. kind of thing. The no, thing is it's like you live together in peace. Yeah. You. you why do you want that? I yeah. mean, what's, what's the problem there in the United States? Why are they always angry? White people with immigrants with everyone actually. Um, I may not be the right person to answer that question, but um, from what I've I mean, in comparison with yeah. Canada, do you see like this? So yeah. not this kind of problem. Or yeah. in which ways in which yeah. ways do you feel comfortable there to be yourself in Canada? What mm -hmm. what do you you know, what particular situations you notice that? Um because I have so many friends in um, the United States, it's it's so hard, but the difference that I have experienced, that's my experience, okay. Is Americans? They want they want to rule the world, and in order to rule the world or to be a ruler, you have to introduce your own thing. You have to be your own boss. So when an when an, uh, an immigrant comes to that country, forget your nationality, forget your culture, forget who you are. You are now an American uh, citizen, and you have to follow my way, right? And this was embedded since um, the 19, no, not even 19, I'll say since 1776 when the United States got their independence. Well, I shouldn't say they got their independence, they fought for their independence, which is great. I like when people fight for what they believe in, but when they realize they beat the big boss, which was England, because England was the big boss, they, they got it into their head that, hey, I'm almighty. So, to answer your question, I know I'm not answering your question properly, but but um, I think that's what it what causes it is that they want to be the boss of everyone. So it's it's either my way or the highway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My so, way or the highway. Canada is different. Canada, Canada like, like is different. More open -minded. Yeah, it's more open-minded, but uh, it. Well, the inception of Canada was very bad because, um, as you know, uh, I'm not sure if you know, but when the Europeans came over, which were the first, were the French. They were the first to um, actually came over to the Canadian side, right? And, you know, they, 
killed a lot of natives and then the English came over and they helped to kill a lot of natives. They got rid of them and said, this is my country. But since Canada, I'll say probably like 1850, since they started to like, hey, I want more people in my country because the population in Canada is actually um, 34 million and it's the second biggest country in the world. I think Russia is the first one, right? Good thing, yeah. And we are underpopulated. So Canada, in the 18th, 19th century, started to um, bring in a lot of immigrants to build a country. So the country is actually built by Asians, other Europeans, um, people from the Caribbean, people from Africa. There's no one that can say, oh, uh, for example, uh, oh, we the Spanish people built Canada. There's no such thing. There is like everyone built that country to make it um, the greatest country that it is right now. Because it, it is, it is, um, it is wonderful. And one thing I must say that Canada taught me is um, I'm not sure if you guys know. As I said, I like to speak openly in Jamaica. Um, say when I was growing up we were very um, homophobic where um, we weren't violent we're, we're not really violent but we were violent by words hurtful words if you're gay get out of here we don't want you here and when I first went to um, Canada and I saw how everyone was living um, peacefully I was ashamed. Uh, I never participated, just to let you know, I never participated in in like bashing gays, but I'm Jamaican, so if they did, I did. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's like a Our, cultural Yeah, thing. right. So Canada opened my eyes to say that, you know what? Thou shalt not judge. Thou shalt live with anyone that wants to live their life. So that's why I always say Jamaica, uh, Canada is a great country because it teaches a lot of things, not, not just that there are a lot of jobs and you make a lot of money, which is true, but... Which is true. Yeah, which is true. There's a lot of jobs and a lot of money, but there's a little bit more, right? They're not really like, ooh, they're not like those kind of people, but they're really like, when it comes to the heart, they're, 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 they're good people. Yeah. I also have that impression of Canada because I, I lived in Central America mm -hmm. and a lot of Latin American refugees ha uh, did not uh, immig immigrate to the United States. They chose right. Canada. Yeah. The problem with Canada was that it was far too cold. But Canada welcomed political um, people who were um, yeah. mm -hmm. persecuted by the authorities yeah. and all that yeah. and gave them all kinds of support exactly. so they could start a new life. Yeah. So you have a lot of people from Chile and Argentina living in Canada, yeah. you know, gave them English courses for yes. free. For free. No, right? yeah. and, free. Um, they had to give them some French too because if they don't give them French it's like breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, are, are people bilingual or just Quebecans? Uh, Quebecans or Quebecans? Quebecans. Uh, yeah, yeah, so the English, no, yeah, the word Quebecans does exist, but no one uses no yeah, it. Everyone says Quebecois. In French. In okay. French. It depends um, if you're in, in the west part or the east part. The yeah. more you move to the east, more this, more they speak French. The more, the more you go to the, the west, the more they speak uh, English. English yeah. okay. It depends how you move. Yeah, so there are like what there are, there are ten provinces in um, Canada and three territories. Um, <coughs> New Brunswick. A lot of people don't know this. New Brunswick is the only official bilingual uh, province. New so New Brunswick. Brunswick. Yeah, New Brunswick. It's I'm doing native. what I can with the spelling. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What language is native? Right? No. No. Bilingual. Bilingual. The only yeah, no, bilingual. English and, and French. And French. No, 
Quebec, a lot of people don't know this, that Quebec is not a bilingual province, <coughs> it's a French province. However, because English is so, such a bad boy, like they want to dominate everything. So, and the Quebecois are kind of locked off, so the English influence just came in, boom, 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 boom. So if you don't, like for example in Montreal, you need you need to be pretty much bilingual if you want to get a nice job. It's not mandatory, no, no, it's not mandatory. Again, we accept you for who you are, but if you want to get a job, say for example, $15 an hour versus $20 an hour, so Canada pays for being bilingual. So if you speak, say, with Spanish and English, you will be paid for your Spanish. You know what I mean? If that job requires uh, that language, so that should happen here, but it doesn't. No, happen. it does not. I, I, it doesn't uh, happen. Yeah, it yeah. Should, but but actually, actually, actually you are, sorry, as you are saying, it was amazing when I was there. It's like everyone was bilingual. Mm -hmm. Was bilingual, like even homeless. I remember, you know, yep. asking, you know, for direction or mm -hmm. you know anything. You know, are they could cool answer in English or French? Perfect. It was, so we're thinking about that, like, you know, homeless whether are bilingual. Like here we have politicians that are monolingual. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Um, like for example, um, who's your uh, president? Rajoy. <laughs> Rajoy. Um, I think I think the reason why he probably doesn't want to learn another language is, and I kind of understand, is that the English are not trying to learn another language. Right? <laughs> I would say probably only Obama was the only president, there's another one that I don't remember, that actually tried to speak the language. Well, he speaks the language pretty much, I won't say well, but he <laughs> speaks it, right? Um, but I see what, where Rahul is coming from. Why should I go and learn um, English and um, in English, I'm not trying to learn my language. That's just my thinking. Don't, don't listen to me. That's just my thinking. So, what you should learn doesn't have to be English, but it could be French, but. Or Catalan. Oh, Catalan. <laughs> I have a question for you. So, you know, I know you guys have four official languages, right? It's written down in your law book, so it's official. Um, why but is we it? have 14. We have. Three sign languages, mm -hmm. sign languages in Catalan, mm -hmm. Valenciano, mm -hmm. and Castellano, mm -hmm. and we have about 14 languages in the country. Mm -hmm. Some are in danger of extinction, mm -hmm. like Ara Ara Aragones, mm -hmm. Aragonese, mm -hmm. but the official, the, co the, the ones that are mentioned are <coughs> correct. Okay. Yeah, but my, my question is, um, and I guess it's the same thing in Canada. Um, to me, Catalan is the second most important language in Spain. That's just my opinion. Um, why is it um, Catalan and um, Spanish is not taught all over um, Spain? Is it is it something political, or people just don't? But it's it, uh, or, and it comes from the dictatorship. There's um, okay, na na uh, the different uh, nationalisms. Okay. Uh, and they were banned. They couldn't speak their language. Uh, they couldn't speak. I mean, all the languages in Spain couldn't mm. be spoken mm. when we had the 40-year dictatorship. Okay. So we thought that with democracy and revitalization policies to res rescue the languages, mm -hmm. um, things would get better. But there was always like on one part resent for having been persecuted. Mm -hmm. And on the other part, intolerance. Uh, in public schools, we never offer uh, the, the languages spoken in Spain as subjects. You know, we offer uh, optional subjects like French or uh, German or other kinds of subjects. But some of us were always fighting to make public education teach uh, the other, uh, at least Catalan, Basque, and Galeco. Yeah, yeah. But there's, it's, a, it's called Spanish nationalism. Yeah, mm -hmm. I heard So that. there's like 
the big one, Spanish nationalism, and then the little nationalisms, and they are always clashing. Yeah, I, I saw And we have saying. not not managed to have a transition on that. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Well, that's my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> now, well, as as well, as a language it, teacher, it, I mean. It, uh, it, it's crazy though. Eh? Um, when I first moved uh, to um, Canada back in the late. Uh, like say in the 90s, um, Quebec and um, Canada. Quebec and Canada was going through the same thing that, um, what was it called, Catalonia? With Catalonia. And Spain, it's, it's um, crazy. crazy. Yes. Anyway, let's go back to um, Jamaica. They had a referendum. They had a referendum. That's difficult. Yeah. In Scotland, they had a referendum and they say no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And here they would have said no yeah. if if they hadn't been the if they had been allowed to vote. Yeah. I think it was obvious they would have said no. Yeah. But now now uh, the the discussion is polarized. Yeah. Now it's worse than ever. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? Uh, I believe that with the young people growing up and they're so more open-minded. Maybe 50 years or so it will be fixed. Wait, That's just my opinion. Those of us who lived in the dictatorship have to die. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> so that this problem can yeah. get solved yeah. by younger people, younger who, people who have no prejudice yes, against right. uh, Catalans right. or, you know. Yeah, it will be fixed. But <laughs> for now, just take it easy, I guess. Yeah. You know what? Let me jump on out. Let me ask <coughs> you the dictatorship. Let, let me see. Like, I'm not getting any Jamaican questions, so I'm going to be bold. So uh, everyone know what reggae music is, right? Uh -huh. Right. Yes. Do you guys like it? Yes. Yeah. My partner loves it. So. I'm sorry. My partner loves it. Your partner, eh? Yeah. He loves it. Uh, is he? Is All he? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Is he Jamaican? No. Ah, no. He's from Malaga. Ah, he's from Malaga. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just, I'm just bugging you. Um, a lot of people, when when you think of reggae, you think of Bob Marley, right? Yes. <laughs> and everyone thinks that Bob Marley invented mm. reggae, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, just to educate you guys on that. <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> but he actually, he's the one that made it uh, famous. So um, Jamaica got, it, got, uh, got its independence in 1962. Yeah, 1962, you know, uh, right? And in the 50s, just before our independence, um, Jamaicans, we were tired of like um, the English rule. We didn't like classic music is nice, you know, but and playing the piano is nice. But we wanted our own thing. We wanted our own identity. So a uh, movement started, which is was called ska. Ska. Ska, which is Hi. this kind of ta ta ta. A little bit slow, right? And then mentor came in. And then they started to put all the sounds together. It was actually influenced by um, blues, jazz, R and B, because you know Black Americans were like gods of musicians, god, god, god of musicians, sorry, <laughs> gods of um, the music, the music industry. They were they were just amazing. And Jamaica, we felt jealous because we didn't have anything for ourselves. It was just a beautiful island. Everyone said, ah, oh, Jamaica is beautiful. So they started, like in the early 50s, they started to like creating these sounds. And in the 60s, um, the word reggae, um, which there's a lot of meaning for it because um, the R-E-G part, I, as per Bob Marley, I didn't look it up, but it means in old, because um, you know, you have vulgar Latin and you have classical Latin. I'm not sure which one of the Latin language, but it means like king. So when you when you sing reggae music. Ah, uh, reggae, yeah. Yeah. Like reg, 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 reg. Right? So um, when you sing reggae music, you're singing that I am king. And this goes not just for um, for just the men, it goes for the women. Because a lot of people don't know this. Uh, the Jamaican population, although I guess in this world they say men 
controls it. Actually, in Jamaica, it's the opposite. Women control the running of not just the family, but how life should be. She is, she is the mother, not just mother breastfeeding. No, no, no. We're talking mother, like mother nature. She is the force. She is the everything. So, and because she was so happy, so the gay. Here comes in gay, gay, which means in the English, ha in the English language, happy. That's what gay means. It doesn't mean homosexual. Oh, well, no, it does. But I mean, the <laughs> word gay it comes from French. Yeah, gay. Gay. It's a French word. Yeah, G A I. Yeah, exactly. Right. So we took it over and dropped the I because we don't like that French that much. <laughs> <laughs> and then we took, and we took, I'm just joking. And we, we, we uh, put on the Y, and so now you get reggae, which is the king. Uh -huh and my queen was always happy. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of the stories. It's not written down mm -hmm. in any books, but that's what we heard when we were growing up. So yeah, reggae music is for the king and for my queen. That's what it, uh, just a little <coughs> Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. It's like, um, we don't write a lot, like our historians back then didn't write much, our black historians, we, we told stories and that's how we, things, things get um, passed on. That's great. So you do lots of talking in everyday life. Do people still um, tell stories about yes. their history, yes. their past? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, Jamaica, <coughs> um, Obviously, we're, we're descendants of Africans. Uh, we're from the west part of uh, Africa. Um, before um, Ghana was split up into different countries, like Nigeria, Sierra Leone, there was just Ghana. And you had um, different tribes. It is believed, it's not documented, because no one documented anything when we came over, that we're from the Igbo tribe which is in the... Nigeria. Right, exactly, right? And it's also believed that we're from the Ashanti tribe, which is in Ghana. And the Ashanti tribe and the Igbo tribe, those were like, say, let's put it this way to make so you, you understand. They were like Messi and Ronaldo. Messi and Ronaldo. They have been struggling. Yeah, they're great. They're both great players. But for me, I like Messi, I like Ronaldo, but my favorite football player is Mr. Gonzalez, Raul Gonzalez. <laughs> I, I love that guy. He's the one that made Spain famous, in my opinion. They don't win anything, but that's okay. Anyway, let's get back to my story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a former football player. Yeah. Around the player. Yeah. Um, so the Igbo tribe and the Ashanti tribes uh, brought a lot of different like flavor in terms of how they move, in terms of dance. Like the Igbos will do this, and the Shantis, it's all waste. You know? And when you get waist, sorry, waist, <laughs> when you get you know, your shoulders and your waist, you get that, what we call nowadays in Jamaica, that dance hall music. I don't know if you guys ever heard about it. It's raw, it's like <clears throat> reggaeton. I guess they took it over, but when you say reggaeton, you know how they dance, right? But we dance more, I won't say it's classical, but with more passion, <laughs> right? So, yeah, so with the influence of the Igbos and their shanties and the English language and the Spanish language, because the Spanish ruled Jamaica from 14, 94 right up to 1655. I think I have my history correct there. And the English came in 1655 and they told the Spanish nicely, could you leave? Well, they didn't say do it nicely, but. Um, so with all of that, you have a mix of languages. And my, my, it's not a language, but we say it's a language. Officially, it's a dialect, which is called Patois. French. Yeah, Patois from French, but because the Creole, the French guys had Creole, we didn't want to use Creole. Yeah. We had to stand up, so we say 
patwa. So it's just a mix of different languages. And <coughs> this is one of the reasons why Spanish was easy for me. French I find it very difficult to learn, but Spanish is easy for me because when you hear it, like the syntax of the language is pretty much the same with our Jamaican language. So for example, what can I what can I say? So if I say I am going to bed, right? You guys say me me yeah, okay. So you use the reflexive you use that reflexive me first, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we do in Patwa. We say me have a sleep, right? So we say are me sleep. Say it again, say it again. Uh, me have a sleep. Me have a sleep. Me have a sleep. Me have a sleep. Or, or me sleep. Uh, it's like me hago un sleep. Yeah. Like in front of me. Me sleep. Yeah. So, I like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, oh. in Spanish, in terms of how we speak, we speak like how the Spanish speak, not using their words, but exactly how you guys speak. Uh, we use mostly the African and English. We mix it up. So, if if I were to say house, I don't like you. I don't like as a Jamaican guy. I don't like pronouncing the letter H. We don't use the letter H in our dialect. It's just like when I say house to another Jamaican, they're like, <laughs> "Excuse me." <laughs> How do you pronounce that? Yeah, house, house, house. house. Like I'm hot. I'm hot. Okay. Not not that hot. No no no. I am um, I am hungry. Not not hungry. We the we don't use that H because it's it's an it's annoying. And it, and in patois is the same one like this. Sorry. In, pat, in patois, you know that that dialect that they were saying is the same. Yeah like no, that's what I'm explaining. Yeah, that's actually, patois. That's uh, patois. Patois. Actually, it's the same one in French. They can not pronounce the can't. No, it's not that we we can't. can't. We just but they refuse. Can. Yeah, if we just refuse it because it's the English way. And you say I? Yeah, we say I. 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 How do you do? I. How do you do? How do you do? You do. Yeah. How do you do? Yeah. How do you do? How do you do? Yeah. That's how. That's how we speak uh, <coughs> on a daily basis. It's it's important for me because it's it's, it's your language. Who, yeah, it's who I am. In yeah. linguistics, we don't use the term dialects anymore yeah. because uh, it was a very classist term. It was a term to to create a hierarchy. This yes. is a proper language, mm -hmm. Castellano, and yeah. then Valenciano. That yeah. are dialects. Yeah. Now we don't. We speak about language variety yeah. in linguist in modern yeah. linguistics. Yeah. So. But I wanted to ask you, Jamaican patois is the official language in no, Jamaica? No, no it, it's, it's English. It's, it's English. Um, we, oh, so we, I, I understand that you really want to speak Jamaican yeah, patois because it, yeah. it's, it's not an official it's language. It's not an official language, yes. but to us it is. Yes. Um, because the French has, they have their own language. You guys have your own language. Uh, Jamaicans, we were brought from um, Africa for our own language, but it was taken from us, you know. Um, the Catholic, no disrespect when I'm speaking, the Catholic Church, which um, back then, their thinking was to conquer, you know what I mean? And they took, they took everything from us, and the only thing we have left in terms of like, not because we don't have anything to show. We only have something to say, and um, that's it. Our, our Jamaican patois, P A T O I. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Who were the native in Jamaica? Oh, that it's a great question. Um, as per the book, um, the history book, it's um, native Indians <coughs> from South America. So you know how the Mexican looks looked um, before the, uh, how can I this you know native Indians like from Brazil yeah those guys were they were called Arawaks right Arawaks, um, Arawaks. Uh, however there's another story 
<laughs> and this is from Jamaicans as well, our story, saying that, um, how can I put it? Just like back in, say, 14, I can't remember the date, but, um, you know, 700 years, the Moors occupied uh, um, Spain. What happened here is that they were saying the Moorish people were actually traveling not just through Europe, but they were actually going to the Caribbean, North America. They stopped by, they stopped by um, America, they stopped by um, the West Indies, like Cuba, um, Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic. They were like black, they say that black people were already there. That's why when you look at some of the natives, they, you can see that they're mixed. But how did they get mixed? So there's a story that black people, my story, had, it wasn't written down. So it's not. It's just blah blah. No, no, it's real. It's just that it's yeah. not written yeah. down. Yeah. But in my heart, <laughs> in my heart, I, I believe it's real. But it is. But um, <laughs> no, which, which you know. But I like to. There's a thing saying that, show me the proof. But that's what they tell women. Yeah. We haven't got uh, history because we never got to history books because we were yeah. women. And that doesn't mean that we didn't contribute mm -hmm. to society, that we don't have yeah. a history. Uh, we actually create, point the word her story to yeah. say, hey, yeah. her story is missing. Yeah. And also the history of many people like yeah, yeah, it, it, it's missing. But you know what? Um, going back, as you said something about women. <coughs> when I first left Jamaica, I was surprised that um, beautiful, strong women in Canada, in my opinion, they weren't strong the way I expected them to be because I'm so used to like a strong woman you know like in the midst of things like hey she it's not even about she's a man or she's a woman because in Jamaica it's not about gender it's about who can do it you know it's about do you have the skills to to do this. So when I go, when I, when I went to um, Canada, it was a little bit different. And when I came here in, in, uh, to Spain, I keep hearing these um, <coughs> stories. And I'm like, like, why are they, no disrespect, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, no, don't men, worry. But I'm like, why are so many men, and I, men I love, I, like I'm, I have nothing against my men, I'm a man. But why are so many murders? Murders. Like murders against um, women. And not that I am blaming any woman. I would never do that. However, I think maybe it's time for women to be, um, stop thinking about I'm a woman. Start thinking about I am someone in the sense that it's not about gender, it's about I've got skills, I'm a player, I am me. That's because that's how what I grew up with. That's I can't like my wife. Sometimes I, I like sh I realize she's a little bit shy, and I say to her, Hey, if you have something to say, say it. Don't like, mm, I don't, I don't. I don't, that's just my Jamaican thing, my way, that's just my way, no? I am just, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit crazy, but that's just, that's just, that's just my thinking, so it's just different that different countries have different, <coughs> different ways of um, doing things, yeah, yeah, but Jamaica is not perfect, we are not perfect because in terms of crime rate, we, it's bad, it's really bad, and again, education is not free. Education, education is pretty much expensive, and as I mentioned before, it's 90% that are pretty much poor. 
you can't go to school, so what else are you going to do? You're going to find a way to make some money. So here it comes in like um, the Colombians, for example. No, a lot of people don't know this, and every Jamaican know this. So the cocaine, early, early 80s, came in from Colombia, and it went to Jamaica. And you know which, which uh, state is pretty close by to Jamaica, which is Florida. So you go over from, so this is Jamaica, you go over to Cuba, and then you go over to Florida, you bring in a lot of uh, drugs. It is totally wrong, but that's what poor people do. had to do. Um, they had to eat because the government back then weren't feeding them that much. They weren't giving them anything to say, I am a man, I am a woman, I am someone. They're, you know what I mean? We had to teach ourselves to be someone, right? And this is where, as I mentioned before, there were no genders. It's because it, we didn't have time to think about, oh, she's a man, she's a woman. It was about eating. There's a, there's a song, um, everyone knows it's Bob Marley, No Woman, No Woman No Cry, right? Um, that song is, is pretty deep. A lot of people, I don't know if you know what it means, is that when it's obviously no woman will cry, it means that when the man is down, like, baby, I can't do this anymore, and he's the one crying now, that woman, she will like, oh, I'm like sleeping. She will like stand up, and she will like, hey, you gotta, you gotta keep on, you gotta keep on moving. So that's why I say is that women, like I never seen my mom, mama cry. Well, when my grandma died, she cried. My legs, my leg, she, she cried. But women, yeah, like um, I am everything that I am today because of women. Women, like my father, was a lazy. Excuse my language, bastard. <laughs> um, my mom did everything to make me who I am today. I only have like um, a high school uh, education. I've never been to um, I've never been to a university, but pretty much my mom said, read every book that you get your hands on, and I pretty much know everything because I love to read and reading. If you like to read, I pretty much taught myself Spanish. I'll say I've never done an exam, but I'll say my level is probably like uh, maybe B1, maybe close to C. C1, right? You have C1 and C2, right? B1, B2. B2. Uh, B, C1. Then B2. I'll say B2. Then, yeah, so. And uh, you mentioned that you were, when you were living in Canada, you were, you met your partner yes. at university? Yeah. Right. I like being around people that are um, educated and when I say that is when you're at a certain level in your life it gets boring now you need to move up a little bit hear what other intellect have to say and I like I like mixing with the crowd because you, you shouldn't like as human beings we can't just stay at one level you should always grow, even if it's just by an inch, but you gotta keep on moving, you gotta keep on growing. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be Greg every day. Today, okay, today I'm Greg, but tomorrow I'm Greg. That means I'm getting better. The following day I'm Greg, yeah. You know what I mean, you see what I'm trying to say? I think as human beings, like, as I, as I mentioned before that spinning now here for the education, so obviously I would be starting my degree, not this year, I don't have the time because <coughs> my boys are now, they're going to be two in, ja in April, next year they're going to be three, so they're going to start school, so that's the time, because I'm staying, I am the one staying home with my boys, they don't go to daycare, I think I can teach them, <laughs> I don't know what I can teach them, but I, I take I take care of my boys. I am the as they say in my on the street. I am the baby daddy. I am the I am the one responsible for waking them up, getting mommy up, cooking the food, uh, 
yeah, I, I, I clean the house. I don't like washing dishes. I hate, I hate washing dishes. But um, yeah, I'm the one. I like cooking. I like um, I like cleaning, and I like taking care of my wife, taking care of my boys. Uh, it's a good break because in Canada I was working a lot. Good money, but I wasn't. I was happy. I'm always happy, but I wanted a different level. So um, I always go off topic, man. I don't know. Why. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I, I too. go off topic because there, in my <laughs> mind, there's so many things, you know. So yeah, pardon me if I'm no, off, if I'm off topic. No, no it's, it's okay. okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I do it all the time, yeah. right, yeah. people? <laughs> <laughs> so we go off topic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, coming um, back to gender, you meant in in Jamaica. There are no gender differences? Um, okay, socially, okay, you've got politics, right? And you've got the way people live. In politics, yeah. In politics, and I, I'm not trying to be this kind of guy, but in politics, it's, forgive me, it's a Western way, which means that the men are um, pretty much in control, while the minority uh, are women. So yes, in that sense, they are. What I'm speaking about is the way we live uh, as a people. And it's changing. It hurts me that it's changing uh, because again, the influence, the American influence. Um, I keep blaming the Americans. I love Americans because I have cousins and friends that are American. So, but the, the American way of like how Donald Trump, he's probably a nice guy, but you see how he belittles women. <coughs> like, I don't know if you guys know the story, but social, like, one on one, there's no gender gap. Like, a woman is not just a woman. A man is not just a man. We're, we're, we're like a being, like, uh, a being that's trying to be better, a being that's trying to survive, a being that's trying to to live. Because although I grew up as a Christian and I believe in the word of um, Christ, I also am Rasta. That's another yeah, let's talk. I'm also in the Rasta religion. The Rasta religion it's probably like maybe five percent practices. Uh, it's a way of life. Yeah, it's, it's a way of life, and I like that, right? So for example, the way I eat now is, I am no vegan, but I pretty much don't eat um, meat, and it's not because I think it's healthy. It's just my thinking is that, you know, sometimes, I don't want to participate in killing, right? That's just my thinking, that's just me. But if I were like dying, and I see a, like even a dog, I'm going to eat that dog because I have to survive. But what I'm trying to say right now, because I have the option of not, um, <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but no, just, no, yeah. that's, what we can, that's, that's yeah. what we can learn from the vegan yeah. movement. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because it's, um, we, we do have options, if, well, we do. Yeah. If we have the option, that's what vegan yeah. people say. Yeah. And before the word vegan came in, Rastas were the original vegans. vegans. Really? Yeah, they that's were, I'm used to that. I am like, there's, I'm, when I was young, sometimes a month, Maybe two months we wouldn't eat meat, right? It was just a part of the, our life, right? Because especially, uh, as I said, Christ, right? most Jamaicans are Christian. So Lent, which is in February, I know that Jesus fasted for uh, 40 days. So we fasted for, for 40 days, uh, not eating meat. Maybe a little bit of fish, but mostly vegetables, grains, fruits, yeah, green, especially green vegetables, uh, those were the options, but yeah. yeah.
my, my partner were here to ask you a lot about music. Music? <laughs> but you know what? I would like to tell him something yeah. new for him tonight, yeah, but yes, I don't yes, know. Say it was up. Hey, you can tell him the etymology of reggae. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, music, is, music is the way of life. Again, it's changing in Jamaica, but when I was there, it was the way of life. So there's a sound that says, when there's no food, and there's no light, when there's no food, and there's no light, all we have is the music. So in Jamaica, most of the time, they cut off the power. So there's no light. And sometimes there's not a lot of food, right? Or you'll hear someone outside strumming on his guitar. And you know, and then ah, who is out there? Ah, John, is that you? Yeah, come on. All right, okay, let me call Jeff. Jeff, come on, John is outside. And we go outside in the dark, and all you hear is like boom, boom, and you're just making up songs. So, like for example, boom, like say we're all here now. So I say. I'm in Spain, yeah, and I love the game. Spain is nice, so think twice, you know. So you, you you just you just you're just you just be you're just creating because um, there's no one else to create for you, right? And this, and this is why they say children, you shouldn't put them in front of um, the television when they're so young because at that time. They have, they're very creative at that time. But if you turn off that and just put them down, give them a box or something, you see how creative they get. You know, and that's what it is. You, sometimes we, we forget that we were children first. We weren't adults. So we should sometimes forget the adult, the adult way of life and go back and play with that little dog <coughs> or play with that little box or play with that little car. You know, hey, look at my little car. You know, it it plays with your mind, but it's a good it's a good vibes. It's all about vibration, you know, and that's that's what to me Rasta is. I I love the Christianity as well, but Rasta bringing the jerk chicken, the flavor, you know, make make it a little bit better. Yeah. So I, I guess I've touched on religion. I've touched on a little bit of music. Um, ah. Hussein Bolt. Hussein Bolt. Hello. I have a funny story about. I love him. I've, I've no, he's amazing. He's, he's amazing. He, he's you know, foot, soccer. He, he, does hmm? everybody he know? He says that he's, he wants to play soccer. He now. wants to play soccer, but he, he's not good. He's not good. <laughs> he's, able to, he's, able to, he's, able to, he's able to catch a ball. He definitely will be Ronaldo any day, but he doesn't have the skill. But I have a funny story about Usain Bolt. Um, the first time I took my wife to um, Jamaica, like, you know, I want to show, show off the best things. So, <laughs> that, so uh, that was 2011. And <coughs> Usain Bolt won um, his first gold back in 2008. Yeah, yeah, 2008. So he's a big name in Jamaica. He's the, he's the man. He's the kingpin, right? <laughs> So I took my wife to uh, the restaurant. I'm like, I know, I Google to see if he's in, in Jamaica. So I know he's in Jamaica. And I'm hoping, please, 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 I hope he comes. So I can say, hey, he's saying, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. Yeah. <laughs> wow. is, so this is what happened. Usain Bolt walked in. So my wife is right here, and I'm here, right? But unfortunately, um, they're like they're, the media was right behind him, so I didn't get the chance to say much. But I said, Azara, look, and she looked up. That's my my wife's name, Azara. Azara. Well, she likes to say Greg. It's not Azara. It's Azara. But anyways, um, I said, babes, look, it's it look, and she looked up at the tall guy, and she looked back at me. I said, it's you, seen. And it's like when I said it's you, seen, he said, hey. And Azara is like, <laughs> so she, she got the chance to see him, but it's like, okay. she, did, she, knew, she knew who he was, but as a, like a face, no, she didn't know the face. So yeah, so, but Usain Bolt is not just a runner, 
he's, he's actually a great human being for a young, um, young guy. He, he actually cares, like, he's, he's rich, he's like really rich, like, wow. But he gives back so much, especially to the young who want to be like him. And he said, don't, don't be like me, there can only be one you say, well, try and be better. Try and be better than me, because in order for Jamaica to say be like the number one, like in the next 50 years, someone has to be better than you, saying because the Americans <laughs> they're, they're pretty good runners, right? So we don't want them to take that title back. We we need it. So we say, please be better than me. So he, he's a great guy. He's He's phenomenal. He's what other adjectives I can use. He's he's awesome. He's he's everything that extraordinary. Yeah, he's extraordinary. Yeah. Yeah. extraordinary. And it's funny too. He has something that's part of the interviews. Everything. Oh, like he he, yeah. he just makes you comfortable. Yeah, I've seen him a couple of times. I've never spoken to you, Um uh, <coughs> He's from the northern side of the. Country, yeah, yeah. He's from. Where are you from, actually? Me? No, I'm from Kingston. I'm from. Kingston. The, I'm from the. Yeah, I'm from the east. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kingston. It's a nice. It's a nice parish. We don't go by our. That's another thing. We don't have states. We don't have provinces. We call them parishes. So we have fourteen parishes. Yeah. And why the tradition of the runners in Jamaica? Sorry. Why the tradition of the runners? Okay, it actually uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a great basketball one. players or All the right. tradition. So you know what the tradition, like the real tradition, I'll tell you after. But let me tell you a funny tradition. Um, so you know, um, we were slaves, right? And we used to run away. <laughs> they used to chase us on horses. Well, they couldn't catch us. <laughs> so that's a funny. That's that's the funny stuff. But anyways, the tradition actually started back in so nineteen. <coughs> couldn't say in the nineteen thirties, um, nineteen um, yeah nineteen thirties. There was this runner by the name of um, what's his name? Owen Jesse Owens. He's the American runner that went to um, Germany yeah. when Adolf Hitler was in power. Yeah. So his influence, we were running before. We Jamaicans were running. We were pretty fast, long time, even before. But that, that's where the tradition started. And we wanted to not just be a runner, we wanted to be recognized as a people, you know what I mean? So running became the way of life, just like reggae music. It is the way of life. I'm, I love running. I don't like marathons. I don't like 5Ks. I like sprints, 100 meters, maybe 200 meters. But I like boom, boom, and you go. Everyone, little girls, little boys, on your marks, get set. Go, they're going from four, from, from, from their small, they're running, you, you know, but yeah, so that's, that's it, but that's how the tradition started and it will never end. As long as we have our two legs, we'll be running forever and I think we will be um, breaking more records and a lot of people, and this is where, again, the, how the world works. They don't, you guys even, you didn't know that uh, we have Jamaican women that are, that have broken world records as well, right? I was going to ask you, what's uh, okay. the name of the, the one that was um, winning all the time? I can't remember. Um, no. geez. She, she's su such a powerful woman. Oh, man. Uh, with the green hair? Yeah, or? with green hair, yellow hair. Uh, oh man, I can't. Uh, I'm ashamed. I no, it's okay. Use Google. Huh? Yes, here. Google yeah. You can Google it. Yeah. Okay. Just the, the, but the first one before her. 
Yeah. Just the first one was Merlin. Um, no, no. Yeah, Merlin Ate. Wow. Good one. one. Very good one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you guys. Yeah. She's she's awesome. <coughs> she was like the first queen of of the spring. That's very good. Um, oh my. She's. <laughs> we don't like to use the word beautiful. We like to use the Jamaica like. Yeah, she's hot. Yeah, that's American. But we like to use. Um, <laughs> oh, go ahead. Uh, we like to use. Um, she's wicked. Wicked. <laughs> she, 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 she nice. She, 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 oh my gosh, she mash up the place. Uh, beautiful is nice. The word beautiful is nice. Um, I guess it's a French word as well, eh? Okay. Oh, yeah. The here we have names. Oh, but no, that's not really No, that's Karen. Yeah. There she is. Veronica. No, no, no. No, Shelly and Fraser. There she is. No, is this? Yeah, Shelly and Fraser. That's her. Ah, oh, Fraser. Fraser. Yeah, yeah I remember. Shelly Fraser. is a little short girl. Very short. Um, she's. She's so fast. Yeah, the tiny one. Who is tiny? Like she's probably tiny. Like maybe you. Are tiny? I don't. Whoever's the shortest. <laughs> yeah. She's 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 awesome. She's and what I like about her is when she speaks, you you is like you fall in love, especially <laughs> when you 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 just there like wow, she's awesome. And I'm not talking about because of her shape. No no no, because we're talking like you look at her the way she smiles. It's like the world comes alive. Yeah. She, yeah. We're on Wikipedia. Yeah. Yes. She's she's a beautiful girl. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sorry. Right. What, what do you use? The a spring, the queen of the spring. You gonna say velocity or speed? You say spring. Yeah, because um, in in the velocity, it's it's all about cars. Yeah, velocity. When we're gonna say it for speed. Velocity uh, in the English language is like for cars, and then sprint is for just runners, and then speed, I guess, is for cars as well. But yeah, sprint, yeah, velocity, nah. But you can, it is correct. But yeah, yeah, we only use it. Yeah, Shelly and Fraser, she's, she's, she's awesome. She's, she's just fast. She's just like bam. Like on your Mars, gets it before you like boom, she's she's gone. She has to be very <laughs> careful. Yeah, she, she has to be very careful. I remember um what's there's this girl, I forgot her, she's Spanish, but she's awesome too. Uh she does the long jump. She uh, won Brazil. she's tall. Brazil. 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 She last Brazil. though Brazil. yeah, she Brazil. she won high jump. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the high jump. Not yeah, it's the yeah, yeah. one. Good thing. Yeah, she, that girl, she said something that um, that to this day I like. Uh, I was listening to her back in twenty. I think it was twenty. Um, was twenty twelve. I can't remember. Anyways, she said that um, when she's jumping, she's not jumping. She's just. She's just, she's just there, and it's the same feeling we get when, we, like, when we're running. We're not running. We're just, it's, it's the moment. You know what I mean? It's, and that's why I think she's a special, um, she's a special lady too, because the way she described it, yeah, that's just something that I like. Not important. <laughs> no, it's very important, and that's in philosophy. This is uh, like a notion in philosophy. My partner is uh, a philosophy teacher, yeah. and and sometimes he tells me about this being there. I know it because I love living. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you love life, you are, you are always involved, connected, yeah. connected yeah. to whatever is happening around yeah. you, yeah. And, and enjoying life. Every, we call it in Latin carpe diem. Here we, but, Car yeah. but carpe diem is. It's like frivolous. Mm -hmm. The idea is a little bit frivolous, mm -hmm. and being there, it's like a little bit deeper. 
no? In yeah. connection yeah. to being alive yeah. and the joy of being yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah. Right. and right. That, that's right. And this is why um, the Rastas, they don't use the object pronoun me. They won't use it. They use a subject I, because in I, there's no me. <coughs> I am, not me. There's like me is like a second part, you know. So they just use I. So they'll say, I'm going down the road. Do you want to come with I? They won't say, Do you want to come with me? I know grammatically speaking, you gotta use me, but they use. Not in Jamaica, in English. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone in Jamaica now we understand that, and no one like in Jamaica now we will use we will go use uh, me. Get rid of me. Me is me is not important. I am important, right? Because you'll never say me important, right? No one says me important. So you gotta say I am important. So that's why you can. That's why we don't use me. That's what something. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, if we travel to Jamaica, mm -hmm. what uh, we shouldn't miss? Give you, give us some tips, some advice, something we should right. eat, or do, show us? visit, uh, like mm -hmm. every cat. Yeah. All right. This is the this is the great thing about Jamaica. You won't be allowed to miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican guy sees you and uh, he's like, oh, you're a tourist? Because we have white Jamaicans, so we got to ask, right? Because we want to hear your accent. Ah, you're a tourist. Okay, what have you seen? That's why I'm asking you. No, no, no. no. I'm, I mean, no, I'm, I'm saying the guy is going to say to you, the guy in Jamaica oh, right. is going to say, what have you seen? And you say, oh, I've only went to Ocherias. Ocherias? Come on. Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you where you need to go. So when you go to Jamaica, don't mix with the tourist. You got to mix with the local. Yeah, that's it. That's why I'm asking yeah. you what we should be. No. Because if I ask some people there, probably they are going to... No, that's what I'm answering. I, yeah, I'm answering. I'm saying that's you won't be allowed to it's miss impossible. anything. It's impossible. It's impossible because <laughs> the, the, the natives, I don't know what, let's use a better word, the locals mm. will... Um, will force you, will show you everything. So it's it's hard, but just answer, if you want me to answer it this way, things not to miss in Jamaica. You gotta go to the Bob Marley Museum. Sorry? The okay. Bob Marley Museum. Ah, the Bob Marley Museum. Yeah, you got two. You got one, his birthplace, where his body's at. Uh, that's in sentence. Oh, okay. So Bob Marley was born in this parish, St. Hans Bay. Sentence. Sentence A, right? Um, he started to make his music somewhere here, then he moved to Kingston, and that's where he became popular. So in the museum, where like uh, the music, his house, photos, whatever, is in Kingston, but his body and where he grew up is in Sentence Bay, a place called Nine, Nine Miles. Nine Miles? Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, that's nice. <coughs> the best part of Jamaica to go is actually this part called Port Antonio. Uh, it's it's wild. The beach is still like virgin beach. Um, the food is still authentic. The people still speak that raw Jamaican language like Yausa, what a one. That means, that means, hey, what's up? And this is where you gotta be careful of Jamaica. Jamaicans will come across, we'll come across rough, but actually it's not rough, it's just the way we speak. Like, we'll say, yo, what's up? You know? <laughs> it doesn't mean like, hey, no, no. It's like, hey, and when you come closer, like, grab you, like, hey, how are you doing? What, what, what would you like to see? You know what I mean? Um, the, another part is Negro. Negro, obviously it's in the west, that's where the sun um, sets. But... <coughs> Negro? Uh, Negro. Uh, how should I 
let's say the sunset, I know it's the same sun. It's the same sun everywhere. <laughs> but that sunset is so romantic. So for example, if you and your boyfriend or you and your girlfriend were quarreling, and at that time that sunset sets, <laughs> you'll forget everything. It's so beautiful, it's so alive. It speaks to you, you know what I mean? Can um, you show us Griff some picture, please, of the Negril. Negril? Uh, no. Just put Negril Sunset. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, where, uh, here. Oops. Oli. Negril Sunset. We go to images. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and actually, <coughs> you know, sometimes pictures they try to lie. I can tell you, the hammocks, it's for real. It's for real. <laughs> it's for real. The hammocks, right? okay. Um, the hammocks, um, yeah, it's, you're just sitting back, got it, you got it, your rum. I don't drink anymore. Uh -huh. um, yeah, long story, but it's <laughs> nice. It's nice having your rum and um, Pepsi. Everyone drinks. We're not a Coca Cola people. <laughs> We're Pepsi people. Pepsi. But people drink Coca Cola, but Pepsi stands out. Um, the beach, we have a seven long. Is it seven? Yeah, it's a seven mile long beach. It, it's, it's beautiful. It's just like your. Um, your prominent, I know you call it, um, what do you call it? Yeah. yeah, but in, we call it prominent, we use a French word, but a lot in, in, in the States they use um, the arbor front, or the, the seafront, the seafront, the seafront, the seafront, the States, yeah, but we call it the prominent in, uh, in Jamaica, it's, it, it's just awesome, so everything that you're seeing, like, right now, that's how it is, I don't think it's, maybe it's Photoshop, but in real life, it's photoshopped as well. God, God, God kind of colored a little bit better, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah. This oh, is this is that, that's the beach. And the color of the water is exactly like that. And it even can be a little bit more turquoise. That's the, we, yeah, the turquoise color. It, it's just us. It's, everything is alive in Jamaica. Uh, yeah, is that true? Because in Costa Rica, the, the ground was full of shell animals from the sea, but mm -hmm. they, they had the animal inside and they were all walking around on uh, the beach? No, we don't have that. Okay. But when I say everything is alive, <laughs> people, <laughs> I mean, uh, okay. nature, it, 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 it speaks to you, you know? Yeah. 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 Oh, that what? here. This? this is Rick's Cafe, where you jump. Off a Rick's cliff. Um, if you type in Rick's Cafe, uh, if you put it in a video, like say YouTube and. Oh, it's forbidden. Uh, I, I want to make it larger. So, this is, you say Rick's Cafe? Yeah, Rick's Cafe. If, is it like, but is it a cafe? Or? It is a cafe. Oh, yeah. and people go here for a drink. drink they go for a drink, so they go. And then they jump. There's, I think it's, it's on the other side. Oh. Yeah, it's on the other side and then they jump. Well, you can jump from here, but this is the baby jump. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. You have the baby jump, then you have the, 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 the real jump. It, it, there, it, you can see it on the video. If you what was it. the name? Uh, Rick's. Rick's, yeah. like, like in Casablanca. Yeah, Rick's the same. Cafe. Rick's Cafe. Rick's yeah. Cafe in the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've never seen that movie. No. Yeah. Oh, I know so I everyone. I know. Yeah, everyone. Play again, yeah. Sam, and you know the. Yeah. We will always have Paris, the famous lines. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, what else can I talk about? Like, do you wow, <coughs> we've been talking. I mean, yeah, we for we, two hours. For two hours, almost. Okay. okay. It's we amazing. We, but so but I'm I'm sure it's easy. another thing, I love to talk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is why I, I like, I will tell you about everything, but I like when people ask questions too. Come on, give them a little, a little question uh -huh. for Greg. Yeah, but, what? Uh, what else? So we talked about music, religion, and what else? Uh, I don't know, 
Yes. Oh, we're, 55, we're 55 well, listen, years old. Listen, listen. What do you miss from America? Um, I miss my mom. Mm -hmm. I miss my, that's the, yeah, she's, she's there. She'll come and look for me uh, next year. I miss, I miss the food. Food. Yeah. Especially every town, just like Spain, it's a little bit different, right? And where I'm from, it's all about spice. My grandma used to say, if if you don't cry over your food, the food is not spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so you should you should be eating it. Mm, so good. Oh my God! It's real. Yeah. What's your grandma's name? My grandma's <laughs> name. Her name. If, if you don't cry over your food, it's not <laughs> spicy. <laughs> well, that's not the way. That's not the way she said it. I'm just um, translating. I'm just translating. Okay. Yeah. Because she said it in Patois. Yeah. But what's her name? Her name is Lily. Lily. Okay. Yeah. Lily. 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 Crawford. Sorry, Crawford. Oh uh, no, Crawford. Yeah. Can you spell it? Um, C O L P H O N. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. It's it's um. Yeah. I don't know exactly how the map, but how big is Jamaica? I have went to Spain. The half. It's a. I don't know the number. <laughs> I should know the number. Um, this is small. But it's a it's a dot. So for example, it's. I would say it's probably big as. They used to say it's big as Toronto. Yeah, but it's to cross to cross Spain from south to the north, you oh, you spend ten hours, oh, eleven, three and a half, three and a half, three, three and a half, three and a half, from, from east to west. From east to west. Yeah, from east to west. <laughs> uh, back in the days, it used to be five because we didn't have a highway. But now we have three and a half um, hours. It's yeah, it's it's really it's the smallest island in the upper Greater Antilles. Cuba is the biggest, right? But we would like to say it's not the size, it's the quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I think we touched on everything. Well, well, shall we give them a round of applause? Oh, yes. yeah. Regular life, there's unity in freedom. Re 